Odds fish, my dear. The man can't even tie his own cravat. Really, Percy, is that all you can think about? Why aren't you the kind of man a woman can look up to? Turn to in trouble. Trouble, my dear? Are you in trouble? And if I were? Well, you might try. Confide in me. That's once you used to. What's the use? We don't even speak the same language anymore. Pardon, madame. Chevlin knows about Armand. He must be warned. I want you to take this note to Lord Dewhurst. At once. Tell him to give it to Sir Andrew at the ball and then destroy it. You know Sir Percy and Lady Blakeney, Lord and Lady Grenville. My daughters, Elizabeth and Arabella. Oh, charming. Really? Quite charming. <laughs> oh, continue. Please continue. Ah, the two lovebirds at last. Countess? Here, you must have some champagne. Isn't it exciting? Andrew, here. I shall expect you to dance every dance with me. I must reserve at least one dance for him. Thank you. Come on, Bertie. Welcome to the point, the lady. Sick me, I'm far too embarrassed. Oh. oh. Will you insist? <laughs> <laughs> the Scarlet Pimpernel by Sir Percival Blakeney, Baronet. Oh. No, 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 that's just the title. <laughs> <laughs> they seek him here. They seek him there. Those Frenchies seek him everywhere. Is he in heaven? Or is he in hell? That damned, elusive Pimpernel. <laughs> Oh, but well, this is commendable, Percy. It really is most commendable. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> well, the pretty thing rhymes in four places, don't you see? And if a rhyme rhymes, it makes a poem. If you follow me. As it were, crystal clear. My dear. <laughs> <laughs> May it please your royal highness, your graces, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, pray mm -hmm. take your places for the minuet. You must have been so terrible for you. Lady Blakeney, would you do me the honor? With your permission. Forget Monsieur Chauvelin. The jig is mine. <laughs> the French. 
French are such superb dancers. <laughs> Have you made your decision? You leave me little choice. What do you want me to do? Your friend Sir Andrew Fuchs has a note tucked in his sleeve. Find out what it says. But how? I leave that to your ingenuity as a consummate actress. You know, you really should be dancing with yourself, my dear fellow. You'll forgive me, sir. But I do find the minuet rather tedious. In that case, what about that game of hazard you promised me? <laughs> Splendid. But I must warn you, sir, I do feel devilish lucky tonight. Oh. Damnation. <laughs> Take your places for the Alamon. You mustn't monopolize him, Suzanne. Otherwise, everyone will think you're afraid he'll stray. Come along, Andrew. I think it's just the heat. Oh. Thank you, Andrew. I don't know what came over me. Perhaps I ought to fetch Percy. No, don't leave me. I only need to close my eyes for a moment or two. as good as a burnt feather for giddiness. There. I almost feel better already. Oh, dear. Oh, let me do it. There's no harm done. One moment more, and I might have known the lady's name. Lady? Or a duchess, perhaps? For shame, Andrew. Entertaining love notes from secret admirers. Behind Suzanne's back. What will she say? There was only a fragment left by the time I got to it. Could you make anything out? It said, leave for France tonight. Meet me in the library at midnight for your instructions. And the signature? How was it signed? It was not signed. It was only the symbol of a small flower. The Scarlet Pimpernel. In the library at midnight. You've done well, my dear. Very well indeed. 
Remarkable how we compliment each other. But then we always did. So this is where you're hiding. You promised me the next jig, you naughty boy. Forgive me, my dear. I shall return him shortly. 